Connie Seacrest, Lucille O'Neill, and Johnetta Patton met for lunch to talk about their famous sons. So this is the first time you three have met. Yes. yes. But your sons all know each other. Yes. yes. Because when I went to um, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, your son's picture was up. Did you know that? No, I did not. See? So he's but, doing some things you don't you know, know about. <laughs> I know, I know Ryan and I know Shaquille. I've met both of them. Have you noticed she said Shaquille? I do. I do. <laughs> and, and I know for you that is a sore point when people call him Shaq. Well, she says Shaquille. She knows his name. I think, I I'm gonna tell you the story behind Shaq. Shaquille came home from school one day and a lot of young people didn't know how to pronounce his name. So he came home and said, they're calling me JC. I said, JC, what does that mean? He said, just cool. I said, you go back and tell them <laughs> that is not your name. If they can't say Shaquille, then you make them say Shaq. And so that's where the Shaq came from. And that's why we were living in Germany when we started calling him Shaq. He was about 14 years old. But you prefer Shaquille. Shaquille, that's his name, Shaquille. <laughs> why did you pick that name? When Shaquille was born, we were all looking for names that had meanings. So Shaquille, we found that name in a book of Islamic names. It means little one. Uh, oh, you're right. Oh. Sure. <laughs> so I felt that he was going to be my little one. He's mm -hmm. my firstborn. This is going to be my little one. And then we added the middle name, Rashan. That means warrior my little warrior so we wanted it to have some significance and we believed that he would grow into his name i didn't want him named john harry sam none of that i wanted him to have something significant because i believed that he was going to be a great man and he is as his ryan john seacrest john is his grandfather's name and usher raymond the fourth named after his father but be careful identifying these moms by their son's names how do you feel when people introduce you as, oh, this is Usher's mom? I hate it. I will <laughs> tell you that. I absolutely hate it. And you know who taught me this? Aretha Franklin. Because I introduced myself to her and I said, I'm Usher's mom. She said, but what's your name? What's your name? That's a good lesson. Yeah, it was a great lesson. So when people do that, I always respond, okay, I'm Janetta Patton, but I absolutely hate it, but she taught me that. Okay, Miss Lucille. <laughs> I don't like it either, because I tell people, my name is Lucille. I'm not Shaq's mom. I'm also Latifah's mom, and Aisha's mom, and Jamal's mom, and I let them know I have other children. But when Shaquille got drafted, we all, in a sense, lost our identity. You know, before they got to know us, they kept saying, well, you're so-and-so's mom, you're so-and-so's mom. And it took me a while. I had to train people all over again to let them know, my name is Lucille. And then I let them know I had family. I'm not only Shaq's mom. And I never liked to call him Shaq anyway, so I had to go through a whole story. <laughs> I had to go through all of that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it got to be nerve-wracking, but we're yeah. better now. And I tell them, my name is Lucille. I said, doctor. Lucille O'Neill. Because she went on and got mm -hmm. her master's oh, yeah. and her doctorate. Established her own identity. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. It is. Because when I started the incubator, it was the same thing. Usher's mom, no, I'm doing my mm -hmm. own thing here. I want to establish my own identity. You know, mm -hmm. I work too. And then we want the world to know us. We want yeah. them to know us. We're not just sitting off on the side doing nothing. Nothing. But we are, you know, who we are, and we're contributing to the things that are going on in the world right now. Yeah. And so we want you to know, just like you want me to know your name, I want you to know my name. Yes, well. oh, okay, Connie, when people say, this is Ryan Seacrest, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kind of look at, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> but then I have to say, Yes, he is my son. And then they get all excited and crazy. And, mm -hmm. and then we go on about everything else. And, but what do you, I mean, I'm so proud. Yeah. And yeah, I'm Connie Seacrest and I was here long before you. So uh, that's all good too. 
and I love the work we're doing now mm -hmm. in these children's hospitals. But um, yeah, I mean, I I gotta I just deal, deal with it. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. While we may call their son superstars, they simply call them son and are proud of all they've accomplished. Thank you for spending your Mother's Day with us and thank you to my very special moms who are here. My mom died six years ago and I'm telling you, just being with these three women helps me remember her in so many ways. These women have raised amazing children and thank you for sharing your advice with our viewers. And also thank you to Botica ATL for the wonderful lunch, the Mother's Day gifts, and ah, what more is there to say? So ladies, to all of our viewers, Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day! Day.